Hey everybody, it is Stork from Stork Plays Games. I'm on my way up to Saltier Games to do a demo of Whistle Stop again. So, I think I got at least one, maybe two people signed up right now to come out to uh, play tonight. So hopefully I'll get a, a more players and that'd be, that'd be fun. I'd like to play it with five. I've played it with two, I've played it with three, um, but I've never played it with more than three, so I'd love to see it on four or five players, because then you have less trains to worry about, and I think that that would make it uh, harder, because then other people can block you and things like that, so that's my, that's my guess without having played it with more people, but anyways. That's the plan, so it'd be great to get a couple more players up there. Um, what have I been doing? I've been painting and painting and painting and painting. I've been painting zombies non-stop. So I'm about 50% through with Zombie Side. Finally, I've painted four, um, painted four monsters or minis or Kami or whatever from rising sun I still need to do their bases but they're all painted and, and done um, I've primed one I've reprimed a set of dwarves I'm painting for some uh, some friends who are kind enough to give me some paint so in return I'm gonna paint their dwarves for them um, so I've got a lot of painting going on right now and that's slow moves slow especially when every night that I'm about to start painting uh, I play games instead so that's not a bad problem to have I'm very pleased the fact that I can get so many games in um, seems like the game groups really starting to come together we're starting to get more organized um, more people starting to meet more people you know meeting more people all the time so that's what it's all about and that's kind of why I started doing this to start with was to find people to play games with and meet more people and you know game and have fun so success so far so some new stuff I've got coming up um, I ordered Spirit Island and I ordered I think it's called the Fate of the Elder Gods I believe that's what it's called I'll look it up and if I'm wrong I'll put some text in but Fate of the Elder Gods and Spirit Island and although um, I think those are a little bit heavier than what I normally do they are supposed to be really good games so I thought what the heck let's give it a try I'm gonna do those um, that's all pretty much I got coming up. I got a bunch of games on pre-order from different things. I think I'd have already talked about Reef and uh, Eastern Wonders, um, Century Eastern Wonders, uh, Lucidity, and Wasteland Express Delivery System, or Delivery Service, I mean, which is a fun game. I've played that before. I um, like that one. So I've got all those. Um, shipping to me at some point. I've got some Kickstarters that are should be shipping in. Mint Works and Mint Delivery. I've got Pizza Pizzeria Bros or Pizza something. Something pizza. I don't know if that one's going to ship or not. They keep saying it is, but it was supposed to ship in January and it's uh, almost July. So, we'll see. And another one I know dire wild is getting close that game um, look that up on Kickstarter I know it's already done but dire wild whatever whatever game that they come out with again that publisher and that uh, creator and developer and everything those guys are on top of it man I'm telling you they are like clockwork they are on time the delays they they're having they'd already built in the schedule I mean their updates are phenomenal that's some good stuff. So, um, whatever I can't remember the name of the company, but look look up Dire Wild. Uh, it's a dungeon crawling deck builder, which looks great. I cannot wait to play that game. But that company and the, that creator and everything—they're on top of it. They know what they're doing. And 
my shelves are getting closer they they've run into some other issues but they're a good company too they keep keep us updated at least um, which is nice I don't mind the delays you kind of expect the delays you know but you want to see some updates you want to see what's going on and um, I do have something that I backed from what is their name dog Mike games some component collectors those things look great it's gonna be forever till they show up but I knew that going in and I was a late backer so um, I'm gonna be a while but I can't wait to get those and so those are supposed to be probably uh, late fall it's maybe winter I'm not sure but those look really cool too so once component collectors fulfill Kickstarters and they start doing those on a regular basis you guys should definitely check those out because that's really gonna enhance your gaming experience so and that those guys answer every single question everything all the time I see them on the, the um, Kickstarter page their updates are great people are complaining because they put the date of when they start production but they said that up front so I mean I guess if we don't read the words then it's on us isn't it but again I'm pretty pleased with all my Kickstarters I've done so far I know I'm a little off topic but I've already done the one demo on Whistle Stop which I've got several more coming so <laughs> be ready to hear a lot about Whistle Stop which is a good game too um, check that out and they have a an expansion coming out for Whistle Stop um, too so maybe I'll talk a little bit more about that in my next demo of Whistle Stop but for now I'll try to get you guys some some video of some of the players and uh, I'll see you on the other side so it's the next day I didn't do the end of my video yesterday I apologize but um, after my whistle stop demo I ran out to a game group and did a few more demos there so I went out and taught how to play Tortuga 1667 from Facade Games, which is pretty fun. I've talked about that in some other videos. So they really liked that game. Um, Whistle Stop went really well. I did forget to ask anybody to do a video about it, um, but everybody who played it really liked it. They loved the strategy, um, how deep the game is. We did get a four player game and it was, it was more fun in my opinion player game or a two player game you get a lot more trains um, in, a, in a lower player count game so we actually ran into a lot of spaces where we were trapped and we couldn't move anywhere or um, where it was very advantageous to get to the end I ran a bunch of trains to the end just to get a lot of points I actually got all of my trains I believe off the board in the very last turn so um, I've never come even close to doing that before. As a matter of fact, the game before this, when I demoed, I didn't get any trains off the board, and it absolutely killed me. Um, in this game, I dominated for once. I dominated. So, um, it it's very, very cool. A lot of strategy, a lot of thinking goes into it. So, if you like that kind of tough strategy where people are... They're kind of in your way. I mean, it's not you're not really screwing people over. You can a little bit, but not real bad. Um, but if you like that type of game, check out Whistle Stop. I think you'll enjoy it a lot. And the new de or new demo, the new um, expansion coming out for it, which is Rocky Top, so or Rocky Mountains or Rocky something, something Rocky. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end that video here. I am on my way back up to the game store. Uh, i got to drop something off and pick up a game that they borrowed from me for, for something. Um, and return a game that I borrowed from them. So, um, I will see you guys very soon because I just got in uh, my copy of Not So Fast. And I will be doing an unboxing video on that very shortly. So they'll probably get both videos uploaded at the same time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to me. Click like if you liked it. Uh, click like if you hated it. Click like if you're indifferent to it, please. Uh, comment below. I'll answer you back. Follow me on Instagram or Twitter at Stork Plays Games. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great one.